Bay. Just a couple of quick headlines as uh, mm -hmm. we move into the weekend. Gosh, Nolan, you can't um, you, you can't watch the news without seeing a little bit of turmoil between President Trump and uh, some of his uh, senator well, you have fellow sen GOP senators. You have senators now firing back and saying we're going to group together to go after Steve Bannon, who is you know pledged to uh, try to unseat well, all of the incumbents. Right. Republicans who are running for office this fall, how that furthers the Trump agenda, I don't know. I mean, you've got an important tax vote coming up. Why would Bob Corker, why would Jeff Flake, why would John McCain vote for giving the president a victory here when the president has spent all this time trashing them? This thing is coming apart and you've got 52 votes in the Senate. You need every single one of them just about to get anything done. And if you're making half a dozen, eight, senators really angry and you're making them feel really threatened, why would they vote for your initiatives? And this is what happens when you have the presidency and the Senate and the House. I mean, well, it with one have party, it way. shouldn't have, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they think should be able to roll over Washington. So right. think back to, to uh, 2001 uh, and 2002 when George W. Bush I mean, he was elected under the same circumstances. He had he had everything right, uh, and and could do what he wanted to do. It was a much more coherent group uh, at work there, a more cohesive group. They passed at, his tax plan. They did September, what he wanted. Right? Now I disagreed with most of what they did, but they were in charge and they were in control and they got stuff done. This is a president who seems just at odds with the idea of the whole idea of politics in Washington and the way it's supposed to work. And that was what people liked in him, but. Uh, but when you get there, what happens when, when you, you get you there, it know. doesn't yeah, actually work. Think, about, think about what the, what is happening here. You've got Jeff Flake, a traditional <clears throat> conservative, yeah. no moderate by any measure. No. Bob Corker, no right. moderate These are people by I don't agree any with. measure. Told, being told mm -hmm. you aren't suitable for the Republican Party. Right. You're not conservative enough, which s seems to me simply impossible to sure. think about. That those two aren't conservative enough. These aren't moderates. And you wonder what this party is doing to itself and what message it's, it's, it's sending. The only thing that's saving them is the Democrats appear too stubborn and stupid to move over a little <laughs> and make room for all the Republicans who are getting booted out of that party. I think Nolan, you'll tell start me how to you really feel about that. I, yeah. that. Yeah. I doubt that they're yeah. going to the left. Uh, last, the last 15 yeah. seconds. Go we ahead. will see this sort of coming together in the middle. I don't know if it'll be from the Democratic Party. It certainly won't be from the Republican Party, but there's too much commonality now to, for, for people to ignore. Speaking about a little political action, uh, watch this weekend, Women's Convention coming to uh, Detroit this weekend at Cobo. So that'll be interesting to see what comes out of that as well. Yeah. All right, thanks guys. That is